One problem with making something so good is that improving on it becomes a Herculean task. Was that the dilemma ASICs found themselves in trying to make this new version, the Nova Blast 4? After running in the Nova Blast 3, I was excited for the fourth version, but I must say that I was deeply disappointed. They just did not live up to expectation. There's no way to sugarcoat it. There are a few improvements for sure, but the downsides as a running shoe are critical. Guys, welcome to my full performance review of the A6 Nova Blast 4 after taking several long runs in this. This video is mainly about how these shoes perform during long runs. How did they feel underfoot? How did my legs feel during and after the run? How fast did I recover? How fast were they? How good are they compared with the Nova Blast 3? In order to do justice to that, I did a half marathon and a 16 km run in this. And today I also did another 16 km run but in two halves. The first half of 8 kilometers I did in the Nova Blast 4 and then I quickly changed to the Nova Blast 3 and completed the second 8 kilometers. After the run, I compared notes and these are my findings. Hello people, I'm still your man Dr. CY the Running Dog and thank you for tuning in. If you are yet to subscribe, please support the channel by clicking the subscribe button right away. You know, your patronage is highly appreciated. And if you like the contents of this video, do not also hesitate to click the like button so that this video can also be shown to more people. Guys, know that I've already made an initial review of these shoes where I talked about everything, the details of these shoes, the specs, the numbers, the quality, the looks, the durability, and everything. If you want to see that, you can check out the video also up here in my channel. But today is all about performance. So let's get down to the full performance details of these shoes straight away. The first thing I need to talk about is the cushion and protection of the feet. This is a very important function of a running shoe to alleviate the stress of running and reduce the likelihood of injury. The FF Blast Plus Eco in these are rather firm. I have put over 50 kilometers in them, but they are still firm. The cushion is not as good as in the third version. These are 41 mm stack, while these have 37 mm. Yet the FF Blast Plus in the Novel Blast 3 gave better cushion than the 41.5 mm of the Echo in the Novel Blast 4. They didn't offer great protection to the feet as I expected, whether I was heel or midfoot striking. During my half marathon run, I felt significant stress on my knees and ankles, as well as the medial sides of both legs. After the run, I needed a very long recovery period. In fact, my legs felt better after a full marathon run in the Vaporfly 3 than they felt after a half marathon in the Nova Blast 4. Also, after my 8km run in the shoes today, my feet were already beginning to hurt at the knees and the ankles and inner sides of my legs also. But when I changed to the Nova Blast 3, they actually recovered even while I was still running. And that goes to show the superiority of the cushion in the Nova Blast 3 over that of the Nova Blast 4. The next thing I want to talk about is the weight. These are 12 grams heavier than the previous version. The additional stack as well as the wider base, of course, translates to more weight. But on the feet, they did not feel heavy at all. They are still very light daily trainers. I think these are the lightest daily trainers of over 38 mm stack right now. They are still 10 grams lighter than the 1080 V13 and a whopping 34 grams lighter than the Nimbus 25. However, when you compare it with the previous version, they are still a little heavier. The next point is the response, the bounce back or the speed. You know, how fast we are these shoes. Now the missile foam is firmer than the third version, but it also did not translate to more speed. I got better pop in the Nova Blast 3 than I got from the fourth version. It is so much easier to run in the Nova Blast 3 than the four for three reasons. Number one is that the response is more in the Nova Blast 3. Also, these are lighter than this. And the third point is that these are wider. In fact, they are generally bigger. They feel more bulky on feet more interaction with the wind, more friction with the ground, all this leading to needing more energy. So in summary, the lighter weight, the better response and the more sleek design of the Nova Blast 3 made it easier to run faster and maintain pace in these shoes than in the new version. This showed clearly during my runs today. I made better pace in the Nova Blast 3 than I made in the Nova Blast 4, despite the fact that I ran in the fourth version in the first half of the run when I obviously had more energy. Also, during the run, my perceived effort was more when I was running in the Nova Blast 4 than in the Nova Blast 3. Of course, showing that I needed more energy to maintain pace in this than in this. But it is not all bad, actually. There are still a few areas in which the Nova Blast 4 is better. Top of that is the comfort of the upper. The upper in this is just too sweet and nice. It is softer, smoother, and generally feels nicer around the feet. Also, the toe box width is wider than in the previous version, so your toes have better freedom of movement in this. And then the new insole also gave better underfoot comfort. 
And the, another point is also the stability. The wider base, the firmer midsole means better stability. You feel it when you are running. These shoes give a shorter footing than the Nova Blast 3. Now, both shoes have excellent lockdown, smooth transitions, and are very breathable. Their outsoles are the same, so I expect the same grip and durability. Let's not get this wrong at all. On its own, the Nova Blast 4 is still a pretty nice daily trainer that can be described as lightweight, very stable, and responsive. And it also looks great. However, when you compare it with the previous version, it falls short in critical areas. The changes to the new version has made it a better casual shoe that is more comfortable when walking, while at the same time making it a worse running shoe than the Nova Blast 3. This is similar to what Nike did in the Pegasus Sport. The Nova Blast 3 remains one of the best one shoe do it all. You can do almost anything in this, from speed walk to tempo runs to easy runs, Anywhere you call it, they will answer you. But you can hardly say the same for the Nova Blast 4. In fact, I cannot exactly say where this shoe is falling right now. They are not fast enough to be a speed shoe, and they are also not kind enough to the legs to be a shoe for easy or recovery runs. So that leaves me with only tempo runs for these shoes. So in summary, the Nova Blast 3 makes a better running shoe than the fourth version. There's no other way to sugarcoat it. That's exactly what it is. So if you're undecided on which to buy between these shoes for running, I will say go for the Nova Blast 3. You are going to have a much better running experience in this than in this one. Coupled with the fact that, of course, this will be going on discount on several platforms now that the fourth version is out. So you get a better running shoe at a cheaper price. So this is a no-brainer. On the other hand, if you want to use these shoes mostly for walking or gym or as casuals, of course, these look great. You can go for them. So that's it guys about my experience running the Nova Blast 4. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.